Okay, so in the previous video, I talked about multiple linear regression model with the k explanatory variables, and I talked about the interpretations of their respective beta parameters or slope coefficients. And I also talked about uh, this assumption that must be met in order for these uh, beta parameters to represent true beta parameters or population parameters. In this video, I'm going to talk about the method of ordinary least squares for a multiple linear regression model. And remember, from the simple case, ordinary least squares, it was drawing a line in between these data points and what it was trying to do, it was trying to minimize these errors. This is the original value, y1, and this is our prediction of this value, y1 hat. And this is the error, u. And here, mu1, u1 is equal to y1 minus y hat1. Similarly, we can calculate the distance between our predicted values and the original values and we can keep calculating these mu's and these mu's are called uh, the residuals. Okay, so remember in the previous video for the simple case, I talked about minimizing these sum of squared errors. That is we minimize mu i squared. That is, we minimize ith value from its uh, from the predicted values. So nothing is different here. We are doing the same thing, in except that our model now it looks something like this, right? So we are doing the same thing. So remember, this is our regression line. So this is y hat. This is our regression model. This is this uh, red line. All we are trying to do is minimize this sum of squared residuals. We can apply the same principle as we saw in the previous case for the simple linear regression model and we can get the first order conditions. We can take the derivatives of all these parameters. That is, we can get all these first order conditions by taking the derivative of this term by beta 0, beta 1, beta 2 and beta k. And in this way, we get this line which will be passing through as close to all these data points as possible. So essentially, the whole concept is minimizing the distance between all the data points and the, in this line. So if you are not getting the mathematics behind this, don't worry, you can go back to the simple linear regression modeling case and look at the graph and see what is the logic behind using the method of least squares. And essentially we are doing the same thing here. We are minimizing the sum of squares residuals. But essentially I'm, I cannot represent more than two dimensions here. I can only represent beta zero and beta one. It's very hard to even visualize more than two dimensions here, but this line has k dimensions. It's uh, not possible to think about uh, k dimensions mentally. So that's why we need mathematics or we cannot draw these k dimensions in a graph. So essentially the point is that we are again minimizing the distance between our original data and our predicted value in k dimensions. So we are doing this uh, using uh, mathematics. Right, so that is uh, ordinary least squares in multiple linear regression modeling. In the next video, I'm going to show you a couple of examples applying uh, this ordinary least squares principle and uh, the interpretations that I showed you earlier. I think everything that you learned so far in this chapter will make uh, sense to you after going through those examples. Okay, I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.